In this video, we're looking at construction four, which states that a line perpendicular to a given line L passing through a given point not on the line L. So first thing we want to do is we want to construct that line L. So with your pencil and your ruler, draw a line on your page and label it the line L. It doesn't matter how long that line is, and we're going to label it the line L. Next thing I'm going to do, according to the construction, is mark a point P um, anywhere above or below the line L, but not on L. So that's the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm just going to label it here. So that's my point um, P. And again, I'm just going to label the point. And next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out my compass. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sit the nib of my compass at the point P. And I'm basically then going to intersect the line L at two points. So I'm going to basically extend my radius of my compass. Now it can be any radius, it doesn't matter what it is. And I'm going to draw two arcs intersecting the line L. Okay, so with my compass I'm drawing uh, intersecting here and I'm going to come over the other side and do the same and intersect the line L. I'm now going to label those two points so remove my compass and label those two points I'm going to call them A and B. Now you can see here I could have continued a full circle around here but just to make it easier we're drawing arcs. Okay I now take out my compass again and I'm going to sit my compass now not at the point P but I'm going to bring it down to both A and B. So I'm going to bring it down here to A and I'm now going to draw two radius lines once again, two arcs. So I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to draw an arc starting at A and it's going to look something like that. Again, you can draw the full circle if you wish, but no need. I'm now going to bring the nib of my compass over to B and draw an arc which intersects that arc. And it looks something like that. Okay, so my two arcs are now going to intersect. I'm going to remove my compass so you can see what it looks like. Okay, and our final step now is going to take out our pencil and our ruler and connect this point P down to where these two arcs intersect. I'm going to label this point here where the two arcs intersect and I'm going to label it the point X. So, like I said, with your ruler and your pencil, we're going to connect the point P and the point X. So bringing it over to P should cross to the point X. Then with your pencil, we draw a straight line down to P and down to X. We remove our ruler and you can see now that we have created a perpendicular line going through L. Again, just to denote your 90 degree angles here, you can draw in your symbols for 90 degrees. And that is our construction for construction four. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.